We've just finished our third week of our study of 1 Corinthians this summer, and what we've learned so far is that Paul is writing a letter to a divided church. They are disagreeing. There are factions developing in the church, and at the core of it, they have lost their love of neighbor. The people love Jesus, but they don't love each other, and Paul wants to correct that issue. And one of the things that he addresses that's significant for them and for us, he gets to in chapter 3. In chapter 3, he addresses their spiritual arrogance. He feels that they are overestimating themselves. They are overestimating their relationship with Jesus, their development as followers of Jesus. And this is what he says in chapter 3. He says, and so brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people but rather as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ, I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you are not ready for solid food. Even now, you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. What Paul is telling them is, you're just babies in the faith. You still look like you did before you ever knew Jesus. And what's the issue? Why is it that he says that they're spiritually immature? This is why. For as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? What Paul is saying to them is that as followers of Jesus, it's just as important how you debate the issues as whatever issues you're debating. In other words, he's he's admitting Christians are going to disagree. We're going to fight at times, but how we fight determines our spiritual maturity. The sign of spiritual immaturity for Paul, fighting, quarreling, uh, disunity in the community of faith. And here's what Paul does. Paul, he's great about this. He always addresses a specific illustration. And so he talks about, at this point, his relationship with a guy named Apollos. Now, Paul planted the church in Corinth. When he left after 18 months, Apollos came in and began teaching in the church at Corinth. And there was either a real or perceived rivalry between the two of them. But here's what Paul said about that. He said, the church belongs to God. It's not mine. It doesn't belong to Apollos. I planted, Apollos watered, but the end of all things, he says, we are one. And what Paul is saying is that in moments of disagreement, we're called to humility. We're called to humility. Why? Because we are God's field. The work that we do isn't ours, it's God's. God is bringing the growth is what Paul says. So I think the message for us in our day and time as we try to do this messy thing called church is to approach it with humility. One of my professors used to say at any given moment, he figured he had 80% of his theology correct. He just didn't know which 80%. There's There's a sense of humility there that he might be wrong or he might be right. Or the person that he's talking to might be wrong or might be right. But he's going to let God do the work. And that's what we're called to do. To confess that we don't have all the answers. To confess that we're still growing. To confess that that sometimes we are the spiritually arrogant. But to trust that the growth belongs to God. And that we are God's field. And now that Paul has said this, now he's ready to begin to deal with with the issues in front of the church at Corinth. And that's what we'll start addressing this week.